G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Marketing Cloud REST API to return data from a data extension in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So it's a common use case in Marketing Cloud to have to export your data onto a third party system. And normally you could do this using a data extract activity in Automation Studio and transfer your data onto an FTP or S3 bucket. However, if you're trying to work with more real-time data, your only option is to use an API. At the moment, there is only a SOAP API endpoint, and unfortunately, SOAP envelopes can be difficult to work with, which is not ideal for some developers. However, that doesn't mean there isn't a REST API that exists. There is such an API, however, it is undocumented. A quick search on Google or Stack Exchange will refer you to this article, showing that there is in fact a Marketing Cloud REST API endpoint, asked a few years ago and answered nicely by Adam Spriggs. With the update in 2019 showing there is in fact an undocumented REST API endpoint. So for today, I'll show you how this one works. But before we get started, I have to make it very clear this is an undocumented API endpoint, which means it's not officially supported by Salesforce and should not be used in production. So continue at your own risk. The first thing we need is an API key so we can call this REST API. I've jumped into my setup screen and under my platform tools and apps, I'm gonna choose my install packages. I'm gonna create a new package. This one I'll call my REST DE GET. And my REST DE GET is gonna be a simple server to server integration. So my next screen, I'm gonna to choose to create a new component choosing the server to server integration. Start off by choosing new component, API integration, and then server to server. Now for our scopes, we only have to use one scope. Since we are just reading the data today, we just want to use the data read. So I'll find my data, data extensions, and the read scope, and I'll go save. And with the API created, I now have my credentials that I need to make this REST API endpoint work. So let's now jump into Postman and enter in all the information that we need to try this API out for ourselves. So over in Postman, I've made myself a brand new API request using the get method for this endpoint. Let's now transpose across the information for this API. So back on Stack Exchange, we can see the API endpoint provided by Adam Sprig in the documentation here. So I'll choose my data, custom objects, key, and I filter here. I'll copy the whole thing all the way up to the text quotation marks, copying it and jumping back into Postman and pasting it into my URL. Now I do need my REST API endpoint, so I'll jump back into my setup screen and copy my REST base URI, copying that value and pasting it back into my Postman at the very front, making sure there's just one of these slashes, just like that. Now for this to work, I do need my external key for a data extension. So I've gone ahead and made a data extension earlier. I'm gonna use my 100 records to delete. I'll link the video for this one in the description below. I need to get the external key for this data extension. So I'll click into the properties and I'm gonna to choose to copy that external key, just like that. And I'll use that key in my Postman call. So custom object, your external key and paste. Now the filter here allows us to filter what records to return. If we remove that filter, it will return all records. But for now, let's try and return some records. If I jump into my data set with my 100 records here, I can see there's a few records that have the active flag equal to zero. So let's try it out by filtering on active flag equals zero. I'll choose the field name of active, jumping back into my postman and saying where active space equals space and a value. Now it's not gonna be a text value, it's a numeric value, so I'll remove those quotation marks and put the character zero. Just like that, my API call is ready to make, so I'll go send. And hopefully we get our response back. And here we are, it's found 11 responses, 11 uh, records in this data extension, and it lists them out in a JSON payload below, as you can see. Now, if using Postman's not your thing, I've also gone ahead and made an example using some SSJS code in Marketing Cloud. From my content block, which links into a cloud page, my SSJS test, I can jump in and paste some pre-made code I've done, and I'll step you through how it works. So let's have a quick zoom in, and we'll step through the code. Now our code's going to read, it's going to use our configuration of our REST auth API endpoint with our credentials we just set up for our new API. It's going to make a token call to return our REST token and our REST URL, as you can see here. With our two access points here, our token and our REST URL, it's then going to make a call to our brand new custom object data using the external key we just pulled from our data extension and the same filter where active is equal to zero. When it makes that call, it's going to write the response to the content into our cloud page. So let's try it out by going save and I'll refresh my cloud page. And hopefully we get 
perfect. Our same amount of records. So count 11, it's found all 11 records. And you can see our items here contains a simple JSON payload with all that data inside of it. Perfect. And if you'd like to try this out for yourself, I'll put a link to the SSJS code on my GitHub in the description below. So you can copy this code and the data extension data to test on and try it out for yourself. Don't forget, this is a undocumented REST API. So again, not for use in production as it's not supported by Salesforce, but it is a good use case to practice and see what's possible in Marketing Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and trick in Marketing Cloud. If you have, please let me know in the comments below and give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.